here are all the items included in your EDLP2-ULM kit. Motor mount and assembly, a 8 foot lead, 6 inch push and go pigtail, two Phillips head screws, and a spring compression bracket. Now jumping right into the installation, we're going to slide off the housing from the base rail. Once the housing is off, we'll set it aside and remove the push pad. Set the push pad aside. First, very crucial step, we're going to grab our spring compression bracket, pull back that spring, and just slide it over the connecting rod. And that's going to give us a little help on returning the push pad to the correct position. We can grab our motor mount assembly. We're going to approach the back activating bracket to make a 90 degree angle and make sure to depress the push pad, exposing that pin. And that's what we're going to hook onto with our attaching hooks. Once we see them hook on there, we can start to drop down the back of the motor kit and make sure we just miss that dogging piece. It does not get caught up on there. And our motor mount is going to slide underneath and into the existing grooves on the base rail. And they should line up with the existing screw holes from the dogging. Now I'm going to grab the two Phillips provided and install them to secure my motor mount to the base rail. You may have to wiggle the kit slightly to get that screw to catch. Now we're ready to start reassembling the device. When grabbing the push pad, there is only one way it can go on. So make sure the hooks underneath the push pad are facing away from the head. So when you slide on the push pad, they hook onto the activating brackets correctly. Now, once we have the push pad back on, we can slide it into the exit device housing. To the existing grooves, be careful of any of those wires and make sure that the base rail is sliding into the correct bottom channel and that those push pad guides do not get caught up. I have to wiggle them a little bit. And now with the push pad and housing back on, I'm going to slide the filler plate out and put it aside. Now I'm going to grab my push and go pigtail and plug it into the MM4S. Now I can plug it into power on the 8 foot lead and in installation if you want to cut that connection point off and hardwire, you're more than welcome. I'm going to be using our new field tester to fire it off and you can see here with 25 volts present, more than enough to fire off and test our motor. Make sure when testing and setting the push to set that you have the exit device on its side like it would be naturally on a door. I'm going to depress the push pad all the way wait for a series of six beeps. Once those beeps are done, the device has learned its new location, I can release and refire. And if you're not happy with the location, just repeat the push to set process until you find the correct location. Now with everything set, I'm going to slide the filler plate on. And you're all set. Thanks for calling Command Access. How may we help you? And don't forget to visit commandaccess.com where you'll have all the information on our products at your fingertips. You want a web chat? Ask a quick question. Or you need a cut sheet? Possibly the installation instructions? Or an easy link to the YouTube installation video? We've got it all here for you.